transition would be allocation of resources, meaning if you have a lawnmower, you put it in the center so different people can use it when you're through with it. Bicycles are all there for your use. We will, in other words, <coughs> the industries fail during social change. Chevy General Motors failed. We bailed them out. We gave the money to the people that created the problem, meaning our system is basically corrupt as hell. If you take public funds where teachers can earn more and you give it to the banks and the establishment, that is insane, that's corrupt. So the reason you don't have a smooth transition is because the politicians are ignorant people. They know investment banking, advertising, resource management, and these are professions that will help people. The professions, like people come to me and say, what should my child study to have a job in the future? A, a profession you never heard of. The profession will be new in the future. There will be no banking, no advertising, no profiteering. Do you understand? The professions of the future will be environmental restoration, taking care of health of people from youngsters to old people. All get health care, whether you have money or not. There's no money in the system. So you can't pay off anybody. You can't buy a congressman off. It's, as long as you've got money around, you're going to have corruption. I don't think there's enough time for people to make a peaceful transition. That's just not where they're at. They're not looking for anything else. Mo people really aren't educated well enough on, on behaviorism, on the systems that society promote. And it, it, unfortunately, it looks like it will take a crash before people look for something else. They have to become disillusioned with their elected leaders and be homeless before they look for other alternatives. And then it's usually, what's in it for me? They look for the wrong reason. Well, first we want to do a major motion picture, as we talked, in terms of implementation. I mean, going back before if they all agree. We want to do a major motion picture to show what life could be like in the future, show what we're missing, because most people have no idea. We look at it as kind of, um, therapy for, for transition, social therapy for transition. And we'd like people to walk out of that film and say, well, why don't we do this today? At the end of the film, we'd like to show that we're breaking ground on the first city. We'd like to build the first city. And in the first city, we would have the planners for the next city and people who are making um, all sorts of media, books, videos, gaming, everything to introduce this this direction because it's really an educational system, an ed educational problem at this time. They have to understand it. It's not that they, we could just build a city and then have people move in. They don't have a good understanding of this. So this is what we need. We see how we need to go. And we have the first city and people from all over the world would come and then hopefully build another city in, in their country and go on like that. Well, we're all trapped. We live in a monetary system. You have to pay rent, you have to buy food, and you have to prostitute yourself in order to get money. So I don't know. The transition will be painful. There will be problems. People will shoot other people. You know, uh, there's nothing I can do about the transition. Transition has always been painful. Humans are moved out of government, number one and government becomes cybernated. That means computers are connected to industry, transportation, and agriculture, and they produce food and transportation of goods and services. They do not control people. I want to repeat that. They do not control people. Just the production lines and factories producing goods and services. You know, so they don't have people in a position to corrupt them. And uh, we're, we work all the time. We've been working. The difference between the, the activists that, that are kind of the watchdog of what's going on here and always telling what's wrong, it's really verbal masturbation to us because they really don't pose an alternative to direct direction. Jacques's been working on this all his life. I've been working on it for 33 years with him. If, if we don't get out there another direction to work towards that, that could work for all of our benefits and talk to other people and show it and work towards it in any, any profession in any way that you can, 
other people are going to do your thinking for you, and that's called fascism. So, you know, the, the transition can happen in a lot of different ways. We don't know who we will meet out there, and the more you talk about it, the more we might have access to people with funding who know that this system is full of shit and want to try something else. So, you know, that's all we can say is, is work toward it. If, if you don't work toward it, I can assure you nothing will happen. It's not up to us. You know, we have no power. It's up to you. If you don't demand that the government looks into the Venus Project or that uh, a member of the Venus Project can present it on television, if you, don't, if you say, all I hear from is army people and military people, I don't hear new ideas. Why don't you have the Venus Project on there? That's up to you. If you do nothing, uh, we have no power. Don't put it up. What are you going to do about the tsunami waves? Did, did you put me in charge of that? I can't do anything about it. There's a how-to all through the Venus Project. It's not about we don't know this, we don't know that. There are a lot of people like that. But all my life I've been gathering information on how to deal with that.